Hello and welcome to the Crochet Business School podcast. I'm Kelly Thomas, the Crochet Profit Queen, and I'm going to show you how you can make a living from your crochet while avoiding the burnout and being able to make what you want and when you want. Why do designers publish free crochet patterns? Well, there's a whole load of different reasons why most designers have at least a few free crochet patterns out there. They're usually published on a blog or as a video on YouTube. And just because the pattern is free to view, it doesn't mean that they're not doing anything for the designer and their business. In actual fact, free crochet patterns are a fantastic way of not only growing your business, not only to get new followers and new eyes on what you offer, you can actually make a lot of money from free crochet patterns. Free for the crocheters does not mean that you cannot make money from them and they can actually be really profitable. So how does this work? What's it all about? There are various different ways that you can profit from a free pattern, both in terms of making money and in terms of growing your business. And that is getting new eyes on your brand, getting new followers, growing your social media, growing your newsletter list. You can do all of this with a free pattern. And it all comes down to getting found in search results. I mean, think about how you find patterns. You might have a think about what you're looking for and type it into Google. If you want a video, you go onto YouTube and you type the type of pattern that you're looking for into YouTube. You might go and view on Pinterest and type in the type of pattern you are looking for on there. But you are using search engines. You're asking a search engine to return search results. And these free patterns are a great way of getting found in those results. I mean, who doesn't love a free pattern? But we also know there's a catch that comes with them. We know they're probably going to be on a blog site which has ads. You've seen them, they've got ads down the sidebars, there's ads in the middle of the content, and you have to go through these to access a free pattern. The same on YouTube. Free pattern on there, you've got to put, put up with the ads. They're at the beginning, they're in the middle, they're at the end. These ads make money for the, de the designer. The more you view them, the more money that the designer gets. And so it really helps to turn those free patterns into income. It's a money-making exercise. Because after all, these patterns take time to do. And we, as designers, we need paying for our time. Otherwise, we simply wouldn't be in business. And the other thing you find, both on blogs and in YouTube, is that there are links. In a blog, there are links in the content. On YouTube, they're in the description. And these links may take us places. They might be the links to the yarn that was used, to the hooks, to any accessories. And these are affiliate links. You click on these and you buy, the designer gets a bit of commission. It's how to make money from these free patterns. It's how to get a return on your investment in making that design available. But there are actually a whole other host of ways that you can make money from these. And I've got a yeah, free PDF for you. So you can download that free, that list of 11 patterns, 11 patterns, 11 ways that you can profit from free patterns. And it's a downloadable PDF. And I'll put the link to that in the show notes. So pop down there and get your hands on that. But there's so many ways that you can profit from free patterns. But you can also use them to grow your business. And growing your business means getting more eyes on your 
uh, patterns on what you offer now so you can profit later. So you might not get the money now, but you get more people to take a look at what you offer and you'll profit down the line instead. And you can do that through growing your social media, growing your newsletter list, um, just getting new people to view your YouTube channel, to view your blog and learn who you are. Learn your brand name, learn what you have to offer and see if your brand is the right fit for them. I mean, it takes time to trust a business and if you want to get people to your paid patterns, you need them to get to know who you are. Because let's face it, the amount of patterns we crochets get through every year, if we were to buy every single one, it does add up to a big investment. So people want reassurance that they're on the right track, that they're going to get a decent pattern and they're going to like the designer's writing style. Because we all have just slightly different styles. We might all be writing the same type of instruction, but we write things in a slightly different way. So giving someone the chance to take a look at your writing style, it helps them in, you know, gain an opinion on the type of patterns that you produce and you know if they like what you offer. <coughs> oh, excuse me. So free patterns are a way of showing what you do, how you do it, so your followers can decide if it's the right thing for them. There's, you know, there's a, there's a way to do this. There's a way that these patterns work for you. And there's a way to put them together to maximize that benefit. It does take time to figure out what you should offer for free and what you should offer paid. But I'll also say that there are some designers out there who only ever release free patterns. They don't have a single paid pattern out there. And that's because they found a way to make it work for them. It's not a, an approach for everyone. Some designers have no free patterns or only one or two and then everything else is paid. Every designer is different and you get to run your crochet business the way you choose. But I would definitely consider having some free patterns available because they can be so valuable in not only making you money, but in bringing new eyes onto your business so that you can grow, so that you can make more of a profit, so that you can achieve your own goals, your own ambitions. And at the same time, you get to provide fabulous crochet patterns to your followers. It's a win-win. So next time you're thinking about whether you want to release a free pattern, make sure there's something in it for you as well. Just because it's free for the reader or the watcher, it doesn't mean that there's nothing in it for you. So thank you for joining me. And don't forget to download your free PDF of 11 ways that you can profit from your crochet patterns. And subscribe to my newsletter for free tips and resources straight to your inbox. And you can do that at crochetbusinessschool.com forward slash subscribe. So that's it for me today. And I shall see you next time for the next episode. Bye for now.